welcome to another stamping and more video. My name is Katharina Frey and today I have a product review to share with you. I was able to get some of these fabulous new glitter pens from Kuritake and after trying them out I was so excited about them that I decided to bring them to the Whiff of Joy store so you could all enjoy this terrific pens. The ones of you who know me a bit might have realized that I love to watercolor my images. Most of the images I color and work with have a lot of tiny details which make them so charming and vivid but they are also very hard to color in with brushes. So I love to use glitter pens to do all this tiny detail coloring. Another huge pro of doing such tiny details with glitter pens is that they accomplish your coloration with non-twinkling uh, mediums, for example Copic markers or water soluble pens or distress inks. They give a very special glitter and flare to your images and they make them pop even more. The Wink of Stella glitter pens from Kuritake are available in 12 bright intense colors and one clear glitter pen I have done a color chart for you to look at and I think you can see the, the twinkle, the sparkle quite well on the picture, on the screen. Yes, it is lovely. And what I would like to do now is to show you how I use the glitter pens to finish already colored images. I picked the new back to school stamps from Whiff of Joy illustrated by Elizabeth Bell. It is exactly the right time for a back to school collection. School is coming to an end this year and I have two young children and I'm doing a lot of thank you cards and little presents for their teachers who did a fabulous job over the past year. I colored those two girl images with distress inks and as you can see there are a lot of tiny details which still need to be colored in. A huge advantage of the Wink of Stella glitter pens is that you can work and write very smoothly and it doesn't matter which paper you are using. I'm working on heavy watercolor paper here and it worked perfectly. So I'm starting with coloring the spots on the girls trousers. The glitter pens have a very fine tip 0 0.8 millimeters which is another advantage if you're coloring tiny details on your stamped images. I chose the blue color for the spots because it worked so nice with the t-shirt and the shoes. And now after I finished coloring the spots, do you see what difference it already makes? The intense color of the glitter pens on, on the details of her trousers the image looks completely different. Another great way to use those glitter pens I'm showing here, do you see the lashes of the girl? Um, they didn't stamp too well. It seems my ink pad is running dry. Now I use my black Wink of Stella glitter pen to color them in. And now they are perfectly colored, very intense. And you see 
a tiny sparkle on the lashes of the girl, which is perfect for such cute girl images. The pens are acid-free, archival and filled with pigment ink, which means you can watercolor with them. I'm using an acrylic block and I'm adding a little bit of color from my brown glitter pen and then I use my water tank brush I love this brush so clean and easy to use and I pick up the ink directly from the acrylic block and then I'm adding it to the part of the image I want to color As always, I have a tissue paper to wipe my brush clean. And now I'm going to blend the color to the rest of the image. Now I'm switching to black. I'm using my black glitter pen. I'm adding additional color to the darkest areas of the books to get even more shading.